tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer animation. Computer animation. Let's get started with animation. The amazing thing about this surface is that it's not a surface. It's not a polygon object, it's a combination of several surfaces, six to be exact. And people who say we can only do this in polygon modeling are definitely wrong because we can do it in NURBS modeling as well. And NURBS do have advantages over polygon modeling, modeling that's obvious, but they're famous for their nice flows and uh, edgeless shapes. Uh, so this is quite amazing here, and it consists of six surfaces. Uh, just to show you the difference, uh, we go to Polygon Modeling and create a cube. And with a key F we move the camera to it. And uh, when I apply a uh, deformer now, it's under Modeling, Deform. And I can go choose for anyone basically here. Nonlinear bend is, is a good example. And actually, I press Control A to get from the channel box to the attribute editor. Here I have bend, and I don't see any effect here because the curvature is set to zero. So I can just raise this or lower it. So that's what it does. And that's quite natural because I have a single object, the polygon cube here. It keeps the lines totally flat. So they're straight lines here. Let's go to the polycube one here. And here we can change the subdivisions. Let's type in four by four by four. So we have a higher resolution. So what happens now when we do, do the deformation on this polygon object? curved quite nicely. Actually you see edges here because we only have four divisions in each axis and uh, this is just fine. This is, I think it's good to know. So you have the possibility to make this uh, curved surfaces, surfaces. But I wanted to show you the same thing with a NURBS surface and people who would say we cannot do it with NURBS are definitely wrong. So let's create a, a cube here. And this cube looks exactly the same as the polygon cube, but it's totally different. When you have a look at the outliner here, it's a group. The NURBS cube 1 is a group. So when you open the group, you have six planes, which are sort of attached to each other. But in NURBS modeling, you don't really attach surfaces properly. You can do it, but it's, uh, it's not what they're made for, really. But you can put them in groups. That's just fine. And what I'll do now is I'll apply to that group the same deformation as before. Nonlinear bend. Go to the bend tab here and change the curvature. And amazing about it is that the NURBS world keeps the edges together. And that's really amazing because when you, for example, go to this one and um, apply another deformer to it, to this surface. Let's uh, create a sine deformer, for example, raise the amplitude, then it moves away from the rest of the cube. So it uh, behaves like a separate plane, which it in fact is. Whereas before we had uh, a totally intact cube, which was deformed altogether. So let's undo this and um, I show you something which is uh, unique to the channel box. I did a, a tutorial about it, attribute editor and the channel box. Uh, when you press control A, you toggle between the channel box, which is this slim uh, window, sub window here, and the attribute editor. Let's use the channel box now. And um, what I want to do is I want to raise the resolution here. And uh, I can do this easily by clicking on Make NURBS Cube, because that's the factory which makes that cube, to be precise, makes the planes which make the cube. And here, with the three dots, you see that we selected several objects, and now we can uh, manipulate them all together. 
And the thing we want to manipulate is, first of all, the width. We want to make it bigger, maybe size 10. And I move a little bit out like this. And then I want to change the patches in U and V. And move the mouse over these two fields now. I don't click on the one, I click in the black part here and I cover the two, one, two fields here and then I let loose of the mouse. And it looks a little bit strange but um, I can now type in for example 14 and press enter. And then I have 14 in both um, entry fields here and it applies to all the selected planes. Now let's deform it. Actually it's nicer to work with this cube by giving it a new shader. I click on the handle, I choose the bend here and I raise the curvature. So I have a very nice curvature. It's so so cool here. Now if I want to make a building of this, like a like a high building, it needs a flat uh, ground. And that's what these parameters are good for. You see the low bound is where the bend deformer starts at the at the bottom in this case. Press the key E and rotate the deformer. We're not rotating the cube. We're rotating the deformer like this. And we have a really interesting shape here. Now we go to the NURPS cube and edit delete by type history. This deletes the deformation so the cube won't remember why it's <laughs> deformed like this. So the deformation is gone. I cannot re-manipulate it with a bent deformer. I have to introduce another deformer. And that's actually what I'm going to do now. We have the NURPS cube group selected. I go to deform and now under nonlinear I can go for example to squash. And the squash deformer of course it's here does not have an influence yet because the what is called factor here is not uh, set to a value other than zero and at zero it has no effect. Let's change this and then you get this interesting structure here. And you can change with the uh, change the low bound, of course, like this, and the high bound, like this. But I sometimes think that this deformer is made for NURB surfaces, and it actually was made for NURB surfaces in the very beginning. So we select the NURBS cube again, and edit delete by type history, and now everything is gone. We have the cube, which was a cube. Now we can raise it without redeforming it. When we just raise it with a deformer still active, it would be deformed in a different way. This is the object we we get using just two deformers on a NURPS cube consisting of six planes, which you can move outside now if you like. In automotive design, NURPS are just crucial. You need to get acquainted with NURPS topology. For computer games it's enough to have uh, knowledge of polygon surfaces. Well, have a nice day. Bye-bye.